Hey guys, Josh here from Electric Scooter Insider. We have another unboxing for you, and this time we have the Inakim Ox. So let's jump right in. Throw that over there. This unboxing isn't going that great. I'm literally destroying this scooter. <laughs> Oh my god. Oh. One thing I will say straight away is that this kickstand isn't good enough. It's not holding the scooter up. Look, you can see if you just rest it, it's going to roll off the table. So while we unbox the rest of the bits that we have, I'm just going to lay it down because I don't want that to happen again. There we go. That'll have to do. We'll pick it back up in a second. Then what do we have under here? Okay, we have a fender. I'm not sure if that's on the front or the back, but we'll get to that in a minute. We have two of these little contraptions. Now these are actually used for when you adjust the swing arm suspension to be either high or low, but we'll come on to that further in the unboxing. And then with the scooter, you also get a pump for the tires. It's a nice touch, haven't seen it on any other scooters but it's always useful to have one of these as well. Okay, I've made a little contraption. Hopefully this will keep the kickstand still. Woo! Okay, there we are. That was eventful. I wasn't expecting that. Let's assemble the Inakim Ox. Take your rear fender, line this part up to the rear of the swing arm, Place it over the little hole, pop the screw in, tighten it into place. And there you go, it's as simple as that. That is the assembly of the Inakim Ox. Let's jump in and see what this scooter has to offer. So starting at the top, we have two nice and beefy hand grips. Now the hand grips have a nice ergonomic shape. They have a nice tread to them. They feel nice and grippy. And then on either side of the handlebars, you're gonna find your two hand brakes. Now these have been lined with a nice texturized rubber material that's gonna give you a bit extra grip on those. And they are gonna control your rear disc brake and front drum brake. Then moving over from the left side in, we have the clamp that keeps handlebars locked in place. And then below the clamp, we have a little ridge that locks into the rear fender so that you can lift the scooter. Moving over to the right side of the handlebars, you're just gonna find this small little LCD display, and this will just allow you to turn the scooter on, go through the different riding modes, and look at some of your stats as well. Now, let's move our way down the steering column. You can see that all the wires for the handlebar controls are nicely bunched and threaded into the steering column. The steering column is nice and sturdy, and then that brings us all the way up to the folding mechanism. Now, this uses a claw-like device to fold and lock the stem into place. So let's take a quick look at that. All you need to do is bring the stem up until it sits flush bring this locking lever up and then you're going to find this rubber band here and this is just going to lock that locking lever into place so you want to pull it all the way around the stem and then hook it on to the other part of that mechanism there and that will keep the stem locked into place now let's get that down you can have a look at how easy it is to unfold so all we do is 
take off that rubber band, bring down the lever, bring down the stem, and you've got it down in no time. Really simple, really easy. Next up, you're going to find this strong, reinforced forked neck. Then moving our way down, we have the swing arm suspension in orange here. Now, one thing that may draw you towards the Inakim Ox is that the suspension is adjustable. Now it has two settings. The first setting is low and the second setting is high. Now the difference between these is literally what the words mean. So lower will give you a lower suspension, higher will give you more clearance. Which one do you use? Well, if you want to take advantage of the 800 watt motors, which give a peak output of 1,300 watts with a top speed of 28 miles per hour, then you want the low setting. This is gonna be better for high speed races, but if you wanna take the Inakim Ox off-road on forest trails and dirt paths, then you'll want the high setting, and that's just gonna give you more clearance, but also, allow for those swing arms to give you more travel, which will be better for off-road obstacles. To accompany the front drum brake and the swing arm, we have some nice big plush 10 inch by 2.5 inch wide airfield tires. They're slightly narrower than other similar performance scooters that are within the same bracket in terms of price as the Inakim Ox, but it allows the scooter to remain nimble while riding. Now the tread on these tires is primed primarily for street racing just because it's got quite a slick tread. But as I said, it will do just fine on light off-road tracks as well. Now let's move our way across the scooter to the deck. Now you're gonna see this is quite big and beefy on top of the deck as opposed to having a soft rubber matting or a grip tape, which is like sandpaper. Instead, what we have here is a hard plastic. Now this isn't gonna give you as good grip as the soft rubber or the grip tape, but as long as you don't take the Inakim out in rain, then you'll be fine. And while we're on the topic of that, Inakim don't give their scooters a certified water resistance rating, just an advisory message that they can be ridden in the rain but if I was you, I would probably avoid that because more often than not, you'll often find in the small print in the warranty that they will say if there's any damage as a result of water damage, then that won't be covered by the warranty. So I'd stay away from the rain with this model. And again, that goes for all Inakin models. Moving on, if we dig deeper to what's in the deck, we have the battery. Now the Inakim Ox comes in two versions. You have the Hero, and you have the Super. This model I have here is the Hero model. Now there's a slight difference between these and that difference only lies in the battery. So in the Hero model, you have a 60 volt, 13 amp battery, and that's gonna give you approximately a maximum mileage of 37 miles, but realistically, you're probably gonna get around 22 to 25 miles out of that. And it's also important to note that on the Hero model, those battery cells used are Chinese battery cells, which tend to be lower quality than the likes of LG battery cells. And that brings us on to the Super version of this scooter. Now the Inakim OX Super has a 21 amp, 60 volt battery that uses LG battery cells. Again, that's gonna have a maximum mileage of around 57 miles, realistic mileage of around 33 to 35 miles. So if you're considering this scooter, it really depends on your appetite to have a long range ride. If you want the maximum range that you can get, then the Super is for you. But if you wanna pull your budget back slightly and still get all the benefits that the Inakim OX has to offer, then the Hero model is the one for you. Next up on either side of the deck, we have the lighting. Now you can see at the front there are two front lights, but at the rear there's only one and that light is on this side. It's got a strip with the Inakim logo and this also acts as your brake light. It would be better if it could be matched on the other side and the Inakim Ox doesn't come with a headlight. So I do advise you to pick up a headlight at an extra cost attach it to the handlebars, and that's gonna give you much greater visibility. Now, the last feature of the deck, which we're gonna pay attention to, is the charging port. Now, you're gonna see this 
right at the front of the deck. Now this is very similar to all the new V-Set models that have come out and there's good reason for having this up here. Number one, it keeps it protected from damage. Time and time again, you will see performance scooters with their charging ports on the side of the deck all mashed and mangled because they've been scraped along curbs, etc. And then you can no longer charge your battery. So keeping it up here, there's no risk of that at all. The only risk you do have here is from the weather, but it does have a water resistant cap here, which should keep it safe. And going back to what I was mentioning earlier, I wouldn't take this scooter out in the rain anyway. Moving our way down the deck, above the rear tire, we have the big kick plate here. Now kick plates are really good to give you extra control and stability over your ride. So that's a positive one here. On the rear of the kick plate, there's a small reflector and that's going to help provide a little bit more visibility of your whereabouts to other pedestrians and road users. And in the middle of the kick plate here, we have a little cutout and this cutout is where the ridge on the back of the handlebars slot into so you can then lift the scooter up and carry it if you wish but it is heavy moving our way down to the final part of the scooter we have the rear tire to match the one at the front again it's 10 inches tall 2.5 inches wide nice and nimble and it's air filled so it is going to give you extra cushioning and dampening alongside your rear swing arm suspension as well and then at the rear, as mentioned earlier, we have the disc brake. And of course, hugging the rear tire, we have the fender. Now the fender is a nice shape. It's covering all the parts of the tire that you would want covered. So I think you'll be able to ride this scooter in the knowledge that you're not gonna get water and dirt splashed up on your back. And that is the unboxing of the Inakim Ox. But just before we close up this video, I'm going to run through a few more of the performance stats for you just to recap. So you have your 800 watt motor has a peak output of 1300 watts. And that's going to give you a top speed of 28 miles per hour. On the Hero model, you have a 13 amp 60 volt battery with a maximum range of 37 miles, realistic range of 22 to 25 miles. Remember, on the Hero model, you have the Chinese battery cells. If you upgrade to the Super model, you can take advantage of those LG battery cells, get a 21 amp 60 volt battery, 57 maximum miles, realistic range of 33 to 35 miles, and a longer lasting battery performance. In terms of weight, it weighs 57 pounds, and that is the equivalent to around 25 to 26 kilos. I think to pinpoint it, it is 25.9 kilos. And then in terms of the low capacity, so the amount of rider weight that the OX can support, that is 265 pounds, which is the equivalent to 120 kilos. Now that we've covered all of that good stuff, I also just wanna pay tribute to the build quality. Inakim scooters are all vertically integrated. Now what that means is, the Inakim owns each part of the scooter that has been manufactured. Typically, scooters will take different parts from different manufacturers and then join them together. Inakim doesn't do that. It's completely vertically integrated. It owns every part of the construction, all the components, so it all fits seamlessly together. And this is part of the reason why Inakim scooters tend to cost a little bit more than their closest competitors. You are mainly paying for that brand name of Inakim, but what comes with that is the excellent build quality. They also use CNC manufacturing, and this essentially means that each part of the scooter has been forged from a single piece of aluminum alloy, which allows for a very high precision of accuracy when it comes to creating each component. Now this means that Inakim scooters are typically void of any welding, which means that there's no room for weaknesses. On scooters that aren't manufactured by Inakim, you will find that there's been welding around the neck, also on the stem and a few other areas on the scooter. Over time, especially under extreme conditions, such as off-roading, 
these can become susceptible to becoming weak and parts of your scooter can snap if they're pushed hard enough. But the inner Kim doesn't use welding, it's structurally sound, so overall the build quality is very good. Now, before we close this unboxing up, I just wanna give you a little bit of a comparison to see what you can get for your money if you're interested in the Inokim Ox and maybe any of the other scooters which I'm gonna mention now. So, the closest competitors to the Inokim Ox out of our database of 100 plus scooters in terms of price are the Apollo Ghost, the Mantis Base, and the VSET 9 Plus R. Now, all of those scooters can be considered performance scooters because they have dual motors. The Inokim Ox only has the single 800 watt motor. So let's run through those scooters, let's have a quick look at their stats, and then maybe that will help you to make a decision based on which scooter is best for you. So the price of the Inokim Ox Hero model is $1,599. Then let's take a look at the Apollo Ghost. The Apollo Ghost retails for $1,499, so $100 cheaper than this model here. In that model, you have dual 800 watt motors with a maximum speed of 33 miles per hour and a maximum range of 39 miles. So maybe that may be a scooter that you want to consider in your choices. Next up, moving up the cost scale, we have the VSET 9 Plus R. Now this model retails for $1,624. It has dual 650 watt motors that are gonna give you a top speed of around 33 to 34 miles per hour. So very similar to the Apollo Ghost and a maximum range of 40 miles. If we move a little bit higher up the scale to $1,650, we have the Mantis Base. Now let's bear in mind this scooter is only around $50 more expensive than the Inokim Ox. But with that extra $50, you get dual 1000 watt motors that are gonna give you a top speed of up to 40 miles per hour, which is 12 miles per hour faster than the Inokim. If you want a model with a rapid acceleration, zero to 50 miles per hour in just two seconds, then that is the model for you. And in terms of range, you can get around 30 miles out of that model. I hope that gives you some form of perspective and context around where the Inokim Ox sits alongside its main competitors and also will help you to choose the right scooter for your needs. If you would like any more information about any of those four scooters, so the Inokim Ox, Apollo Ghost, VSET 9 Plus R or the Mantis Base, come over to Electric Scooter Insider. We have reviews of all those scooters, very in-depth, very detailed. Hopefully we can help you pick the right scooter. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please drop a like, please subscribe to the channel. Let us know what else you'd like us to review or unbox in the comments down below. And if you are interested in the Inokim OX, it is a fantastic scooter, then I will drop a QR code here. You can scan that and I'll also drop a link in the description below. Thank you for watching and we'll see you next time.